Don't you just love technology? With just a few simple commands, you can bring life to that which has none. Like a puppet master pulling the strings of a marionette. MacroQuest 2, or known better as MQ2, is a botting program made for EverQuest. If you're not too familiar with botting programs, well, that's probably why you're here in the first place. But in a nutshell, MQ2 automates player character movements and actions. Before starting this introduction to MQ2, I want to make it clear that I do not condone using botting programs no! on EQ Live or using MQ2 on any server that is anti-botting. This tutorial is for those interested in using MQ2 on Easy Server or for those who have an interest in what MQ2 can do. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get started setting up MQ2. First, let's download MQ2 and pair it with our EverQuest folder. Go to mqemulator.net and click Downloads. Be aware of which version your EQ client is running from, because if you pick the wrong client, it won't work. If you followed along in the Install and Setup video, you downloaded the ROF2 client. Other popular clients on the custom servers are Underfoot and Titanium. Select your client and make sure Classic is selected, at least for Easy Server, and then click on the giant Download Now button. Create a folder and call it MQ2, and then extract all of the files from the MQ2 zip file you just downloaded into your newly created folder. It would be wise to create shortcuts of two files in this folder, eqbcserver.exe and macroquest2.exe. Place them on your desktop or somewhere that is convenient for you. You want to make sure you start up both EQBC Server and MacroQuest 2 before launching EverQuest. It won't ruin your client if you don't, but sometimes it can cause a crash or a delayed start to your MQ2. It's just a good habit to get into. Start up EverQuest and log on to your character. You should see a new window in your user interface called MQ. This is where all of your commands will send and receive between your boxes and to the program itself. We're not quite done setting up just yet. One last step before you can flip that switch to Skynet. In the MQ box, type slash MAC setup. You only have to do this once, as this sets up and establishes the connection between your MQ2 server and your program. That should do it. You should be all set up to start using MQ2. Let's test it out to make sure that it's working. In any of your chat windows, type slash BCAA slash slash say hello world. All of your boxes should have said Hello world! If they didn't, try re-logging and trying again. If you're still having trouble, go back through the steps and try again. So do you think that you're up to playing with some commands? Check out the next part of this series! 